this wild proposition of a mirror universe could help solve the cosmology crisis. The idea of a mirror universe is a common trope in science fiction, a world similar to ours where we might find our evil doppelganger or a version of us who actually asked out our high school crush. But the concept of a mirror universe has been often studied in theoretical cosmology, and as a new study shows, it might help us solve problems with the cosmological uh, constant. The Hubble constant, or Hubble parameter, is a measure of the rate at which the universe expands. This expansion was first demonstrated by Edwin Hubble using data from the Henrietta Leavitt, Vesto, Slipher, and others. Over the next several decades, measurements of this expansion settled on a rate of about 70 kilometers per second MPC, give or take quite a bit. Astronomers figured that as our measurements became precise, the various methods would settle on a common value, but that did not happen. In fact, in the past several years, measurements have become so precise they outright disagree. This is sometimes known as the cosmic tension problem. At this point, the observed values of the Hubble constant cluster into two groups. Measurements of fluctuations in the cosmic microwave background point towards a lower value, around 67 kilometers per second MPC, while observations of objects such as distant supernova yield a higher value, around 73 kilometers per second MPC. Something clearly does not add up, and theoretical physicists are trying to figure out why. This is where the mirror universe might come in. Wild ideas tend to fall in and out of popularity in theoretical physics. The mirror universe idea is no exception. It was studied quite a, a bit back in the 1990s as a way to deal with the problem of matter-antimatter symmetry. We can create matter particles in the lab, but when we do, we also create antimatter particles. They always come in pairs. So when particles formed in the early universe, where did all their antimatter siblings go to? One idea was that the universe itself formed as a pair, our matter universe and a similar antimatter universe, problem solved. The idea fell out of favor for various reasons, but this new study looks at how it might solve, solve the Hubble problem. The team discovered an invariance in what are known as unitless parameters. The most famous of these is a fine structure constant, which has a value of about 1 out of 137. Basically, you can combine measured parameters in such a way that all the units cancel out, giving you the same number no matter what units you use, which is great if you are a theoretician. The team found that when you tweak cosmological models to, much, to match the observed expansion rate, several unitless parameters stay the same, which suggest an underlying cosmic symmetry. If you impose this symmetry more broadly, you can scale the rate of gravitational freefall and the photon-electron scattering rate so that the different methods of Hubble measurements better agree. And if this invariance is real, it implies the existence of a mirror universe, one that would affect our universe through a faint gravitational pull. It would be pointed out that this study is mostly a proof of concept. It lays out how the cosmic invariance might solve the Hubble constant problem, but does not go so far as to prove it's a solution. A more detailed model will be needed for that, but it's an interesting idea, and it's good to know that if your evil doppelganger is out there, they can only influence your life gravitationally. This was published on Universe Today by Brian Coberlin, and it's on Science Alert. Please leave your comments. Thank you for your support. Finally, support my Patreon account. The daily posts are five videos daily, and they are totally different from what I have on my YouTube channel. Thank you so much for your support and that you find all my content so interesting. You'll find the Patreon account details in the description box below.